Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. No matter where you're at in the world, I hit you somewhere. Uh, welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. I need to pop down here. Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. Um, today, joining us, if you're joining us, uh, you might not know, we're painting up Sin, Cynthia Schmidt, um, character from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, super excited about this uh, miniature and what she brings to uh, the um, Cabal affiliation. Ooh. Um, so, very cool. Um, I'm going to start painting the skin. So we'll go over some of those concepts as we're painting the skin. And um, you know what? I will talk to you about like maybe um, maybe we can pick a color scheme. Maybe we don't want to go with red. Maybe more black. Maybe something more pink. Maybe something more magenta. So let's talk about that in the chat while I paint the skin. So let's flip it over to the mini cam. And get a kraken. Grab a couple of paint brushes here. Maybe we are, maybe we are uh, painting the concept and not just the character today there, Atomic Mass. So I got a couple different colors. I'm just mixing up something on the palette. Doesn't really matter. There's no wrong skin tone. Just kind of find something to go along with what you imagine. All the philosophies are about the same. And that's something that if you uh, have been paying attention, you may know that we are doing the stream, uh, the mini extravaganza uh, next week. We're going to have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of nonstop uh, atomic mass transmissions. Um, it's going to be a really good time. We're all super excited. We've been working really hard. Uh, bringing it together, all the different teams, um, getting ready for this. And uh, one of the paint seminars I will be putting on, it will be different skin tones. So I'll be going into a little more depth and uh, explanation on skin tones and how to make them work. And not just, it'll be different ones, different types of skin tones, different colors of skin tones. And we'll talk about like the unifying factors that brings them all together and makes them all work. So you should check that out. But not just painting seminars, we're gonna have some, a whole plethora of different streams all Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week from development to art. It's gonna be a good time. <clears throat> Somebody had a birthday. Tactical man-made, we got lots of man-made tactical rocks in the line if you're paying attention. If tactical rocks is something that you like to contemplate and think about. All right, so I just threw a quick, I just made up a skin color. I'm gonna add a little green to that. You know what, let's do red first. Let's add a little red to that. I want just a just a tinge of red. Red adds life. Paint is a great present. I will always take and accept paint as a gift. I, I agree there, Gamers Web. I got tons of paint sitting around me. And I would take more, because why not? Use that second brush. Kind of get rid of and bl blend that red in. I want to keep that very translucent, very thin. 
And all this does on skin is give it that little bit of life. Adam G one five seven. That's amazing. Great. So I'm thinking what to do on our sin here to make this miniature more mine and um, more, you know, lean into like how to make it different on the table. I think I want to go a little more black into the red than the studio one. <clears throat> And maybe that just means like uh, take the shadows in the red down into black. Um, and I was thinking maybe there, so if you don't know much about Sin, um, she's been around for a long time, uh, 1983. In uh, Captain America comic, she was introduced. And she's the daughter of the Red Skull, what, so you automatically know she's a villain. I guess you don't automatically know. She could have rebelled and become a good guy. Um, and she played a pretty major role in the Fear Itself uh, storyline. She got the weapon, um, was it sc Scaddy? There's no L there. I always want to put an L there. I always want to be like Scaldy, which is not the name of that weapon so she became the living um, the living weapon skatey tell me if I'm saying that wrong probably am But I'm thinking maybe there was a there is a uh, version of her with an actual red skull, like the red skull. So I'm thinking maybe we do something like that, and um, maybe instead of you know, obviously I didn't convert her. Um, maybe we could do like red skull face paint, and it might look pretty cool. What do you think, stream? The pants black, corset red. Red boots. I'm just going to start blocking this in. <clears throat> Got three red face paint. Sounds cool. I think it'll be fun because also uh, she has some pretty cool story ties to Crossbones. And so I was thinking about this uh, last night. Um, and I was like, she has some pretty cool ties to Crossbones. Um, of course, the panel play sort of uh, hinted at some of that as well um, with a tactic card so I think it'd be kind of cool to kind of like tie her two crossbones visually so maybe doing that red skull face paint right it'll kind of bring them together and so when I put them on the tabletop you know you have this really neat um, visually cool pair of you know bad guys that's kind of where my brain is at 
soften those edges. I'm not doing perfect blends, just kind of softening the edge. Let's kick it from this other side. Just darkened it up a little sanguine color. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do the heels of those boots. Um, definitely do the heels of those boots in black so you get that nice contrast again. It's all about creating visual contrast. You want, we've talked several times. If you're new to the stream, welcome. But if you've joined in before, you might have heard me dis discuss this before. There's lots of different types of contrast. There's not just light and dark. There's warm and cold. There's textural contrast, right? So playing with a lot of those on a miniature will help make the miniature uh, stand out, be more alive, um, be more visually appealing. Black gloves. I'm thinking black gloves. Let's put a quick red on the hair because I want to maintain that. So I think if you're adding a red face paint, it's going to be a lot of red, but I think if we darken the hair down, which we will do, I think we'll still get some nice variations. And that's what I'm thinking, like, doing the gloves black to minimize the amount of red Fabu Pandu you've missed uh, you've missed some just some philosophical rambling Give me a topic. Let's go. I mean, it's got to be a topic I can talk about, but. I'm just going to be painting away. See, I'm just kind of breaking these uh, reds down into like corridors and then I'll kind of blend it all together as we go. Secret menus. What if there's a MCP secret menu and you just don't know because it's a secret? I'm gonna get in trouble. BK is gonna get mad just because I even insinuated that. Bring it back to red over here. The paint's all wet, so mush it into one another. Wet blend it. Some background is cool miniature. You've not heard of Tim. Uh, this is we were actually talking about this right at the start. Uh, Cynthia Schmidt is the daughter of the Red Skull. She was originally introduced in um, some Captain America comics in the early '80s. Um, she has some pretty cool ties to Crossbones. Um, was a major player in the Fear Itself storyline, which is pretty cool if you haven't read. Everybody gets uh, giant weapons, like on the on the level of Mjolnir. So everybody gets like sweet power weapons that changes them. Marvel Crisis Protocol, of course we teased out that she's got a, 
cabal leadership. It's a lot of fun. So it gives you another leader for the cabal. Can we get a Crossbones cameo with Sin before the stream is over? I'd have to... My Crossbones is on the other side of the room. Nobody wants dead air while I go dig out miniatures. BK would kill me. And yeah, there's a really great piece of art. Um, I don't know... I, don't, I didn't get to see all the stream yesterday. I was busy with some other stuff. Um... I don't know what Schick showed, but there's definitely an awesome piece of art, one of my favorite pieces of art, of Sin and Crossbones together. Uh, I think the card is called Ash and Cinder. If somebody, one of my Cohorts can uh, confirm that. I think it's called Ash and Cinder. I'm going to mix in some blues here. We're going to do our little fancy put a little blue where I'm going to put the black. It, yeah, Ash and Cinder. It's, it's such a cool piece of art. I love the art on that card. I've been told I can pick a piece of art for the wall for streaming, and I keep, like, uh, Josh keeps getting in new pieces, and I'm always like, this is the one. This is the one. This is, this is the one I want on my wall. Um, we looked at some new art yesterday, and I was like, yep, that's the one, Josh. That's the one. That's the one I want on my wall for streams. And then, like, the very next one, I'm like, I could totally see this one going on the wall. Like, So the art's always just coming in really cool and a lot of fun. But I do love the Ash and Cinder art. Okay, we're going to do black gloves. That's why I'm putting this blue on here. Apparently she's going to have a little red tattoo on her shoulder as well because I accidentally bumped it. All right, now I'm going to, while that's all drying, I'm going to take some green. And I'm going to mix that into my skin tone. I'm going to use this as another shade. And what this does um, is it mixes with that red and creates like a brown. And gives you a really nice shadow. Uh, could you do an octopus tattoo? Let's let's do it. Let's vote. Let's take some uh, suggestions for the tattoo. We can put a tattoo on her arm. I've got no qualms. Let's do it. But you stream are the guiding hand here. I'm working with really thin paints. A heart with crossbones face in it. It's pretty tiny, but I 
I like Gamers Guild's idea there, the, the octopus representing Hydra. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It means I gotta pick up the pace. Pick up the pace! Paint slow. The AMG logo. I like that course shit gives me the most complex version of all of these. I was painting something the other day and I was like, it's like, uh, I think I'm going to leave this little detail off. Like, eh. And she was like, you can freehand it. I was like, ugh. So much work. So much work. Make a little highlight for the skin. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy on the highlights on the face if we're going to do the tattoo. I'm not even sure why I'm painting the face at this point. I'm just using the very tip of the brush. Very thin paint. Just enough. To get some highlights on that flesh. Use that brush to clean up. That's what it's there for. Cleaning and smoothing. That's what it does. Cleaning and smoothing. Sploosh IRL. Does Dallas paint the minis on the website? Sometimes I've painted Hella and um, Scarlet Witch that was shown in the Deadpool video. Um, I can't remember if we showed off the... Oh, Luke Cage. I painted Luke Cage. So, every now and then I get a chance to paint managers I'm I'm that's not my job my job is uh, much different than that but every now and then I get to what I would say come out of retirement and actually paint a miniature and it's a lot of fun Yeah, Schick, Schick is in there. He's answering. Yeah, we'll do tattoo tips. Let me get to the tattoo. Gotta get, a, uh, gotta get that skin painted. You want to paint the skin first, and then we'll paint the tattoo. The first tip about painting tattoos is have a plan. Um, you know... You, you kind of want to have a good idea. I just made a little wash here with black, by the way. I just took some black and some water. And a little medium. And then this is going over that blue. Um, but you want to have like a good little plan. Um, especially if you haven't done very many 
tattoos. You want to have a very clear idea of what the tattoo is going to be. So, you know, if, say you want to do the Hydra logo, you know, you need to know exactly what the Hydra logo looks like. Um, the one thing I do, is, you know, is I practice on a piece of plastic. You know, I'll just get like a piece of uh, plastic or paper and I'll, and I'll draw the design several times with the brush, um, you know, or maybe with, the, with a pencil first. And that way you get that feel for what it, what it feels like. And then what you really want is a nice tip on the brush before you get stuck in. You want a good brush with a good tip. Um, so you can make sure that when you go to paint, you have really, really good control. So let's get a shadow on the skin. So I've mixed red and green. The same red and green I've already mixed into the skin tone. I just mix that together without the skin tone. And I want to push this into the very deepest edges of the skin. And define all those edges. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure why I'm painting the face when we're about to completely cover it. But, you know, hey, whatever. We're painting with jazz here. We're, we're just making... We're just having a good time. We're not painting serious. You know... Shik and I on the stream talk all the time about, like, Every manager has a destiny, and you get to choose that destiny. So, like, speaking to miniature, you know, studio painting, right? I know when I go to paint a studio miniature, I have to think about it much differently than painting, like, say, this sin. You know, this is my sin for my, my collection. So I get to think about it much differently, and I get to define that role for the miniature. You know, if this was a studio paint job, I'd have to think about everything much differently. I gotta think about how it's gonna photograph. I gotta think about, um, you know, how it's gonna read on when you when it's put on a box. I gotta think about, um, you know, somebody might be their favorite character, and you know, I know I've definitely gone to websites and I just looked at the miniature that you know I'm in love with over and over and over kind of analyzing every square inch right so for a studio painter that's like you got to think about that you got to think about like people are going to do that we're going to somebody's going to analyze um it's sort of like competition painting if you're going to paint for competition you got to be ready for like serious analyzation of the miniature Whereas like this, for me, you you don't, I, I'm not super concerned about somebody analyzing it. This is for me. It's only got to be cool enough for me and on the tabletop. That's all that matters. The first returns, would you please take a moment to explain why I chose that bright blue to put under the black? Um, so... Black is highlighted several different ways. Um, you can highlight it with gray, you can highlight it with blue, you can highlight it with green, yellow. Um, because I have a wash and a zenithal prime, I just threw some blue on there. So when I did that black wash, the blue shines through and now I get a blue-black highlight. And when I go back through and I highlight it um, again, I'll use a very light blue and get that cool like leather feel out of it. 
So it's just an under, it was just a under color to establish uh, what I wanted. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense to me. Yeah, Simone's given up watching my streams. I'm no longer a favorite. Breaks my heart. Not, not true. She's busy. She's been busy. We've all been busy. It's been busy. We're getting ready for that sweet mini extravaganza. Y'all don't even know. Yeah, first returns, that's exactly right. Like, also, it goes back to that contrast thing we're talking about, right? Is you, by having the highlights and that mid-tone and that black be blue, it contrasts super good to, against those reds. And they play well with each other. Yeah, the main extravaganza is going to be super awesome. Um, like I said, everybody's been working super hard. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We got even an after party. I think Schick mentioned yesterday. I'm just going to mention it now, even if he didn't. We got an after party plan, so that's going to be super fun. Who knows what kind of mentors are going to show up. I mean, some of us know. I got a pile of them on my desk all ready to go. For streams. What kind of brush? Uh, Telonius T, what kind of brush? Is yeah, this is just a watercolor brush. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of small brushes. Um, the paint dries out too quick for me. So I actually use a size, I think this is a size 2 watercolor brush. Typically what I use, size 1, 2, or 3, depending on... Actually, I'm really bad. Um, <laughs> I just grab brushes. It doesn't matter to me. Um, you know? I'm kind of a loose cannon like that. Whoops. But the big thing about brush, you want a good point, and you want to, like... Or what I like, this is what I like, this is all preference. Everybody likes different things. We're going to put a little magenta in her hair just to make a difference. Is you want a large belly, and that's this part, or barrel, and a small point. And the belly is what holds the paint and the moisture, and so that's super important, right? If if the paint doesn't hold moisture, or if the brush doesn't hold moisture, it makes it really difficult to paint, right? So, like, sometimes you can find, like, super mega tiny paintbrush, and you're like, this will help me paint eyes. And then you go to paint the eye, and the paint's dry. That's because there's just no belly, so there's no moisture. Um, if you have a nice belly on the brush... It stays moist and then it all matters is the tip of the brush so that's what's super important let's get a little red and orange mix it together here so 
put some highlights on the hair. Highlights, very broad highlights on this. For now, we'll tighten those up. All right, we don't have much longer. So let's think about this tattoo. Let's think about the face paint. So I'm gonna go a little dark and very thin. And I'm just kind of because I'm doing this live and I haven't really thought about the design I'm just going to kind of make it up so I'm going to go very slow I think about the shape of a skull Let's refine that. Keeping the paint very thin. Now let's kick that up a notch. Let's grab some more red. I want this to look a little more haphazard. And I want to leave some dark areas. Add a little orange to that. Ah, uh, she could have some black around the skull. We could do that. I'm trying to decide if I want to paint her nose black. So like. Get a little black on my brush. If 
plugging in the ocular sockets. We're in the zone. Woo! That's deep. I was deep in there. All right, let's keep going. Let's put a little dark line around the hairline to divide it out. We need to highlight the skull one more time, so I'm going to kick up that yellow inside the red. Come back. Just barely touching it. I'll grab a little uh, off white. Typically, I turn the miniature over for this, or How's that look? Yeah, spooky face. I love it. I'm in. I'm in on these spooky faces. Is that a little white to that weird color? It's like orange and magenta mixed together. So I add a little white to that. Do some more highlights on those hair. Just little lines.
It's like lots of little colors in the hair, that's fine. Yeah, his face looks super spooky now. I'm digging it. It definitely feels like she's about to go on a murderous rampage with a, another murderous rampager, Crossbones. Let's clean up. Press that black back just a little bit. Get a little bit more of that red in there. Feel like I lost a little. Yeah, that feels really good. Gamers Web is out. See you, Gamers Web. All right, should we do the tattoo? We're talking about octopuses to kind of show that Hydra tie. And we already got like a little, so. I'm just using the tip of my brush. And I'm not going fast. Now normally I would plan this out. Uh, so we're getting back into tips on uh, freehand here. And one of the things I would do, um, like let's say you were painting this wall and you want to freehand something on it. What I would probably do is mix up a color that's super close to this color and kind of sketch in you know kind of what you want. And the reason you want it really close to the color is so you can hide it easier, right? And then you can just barely see the AMG in there. And then you can kind of work around it and build it up. Don't try to paint it all in one straight go. that I feel like she needs another one on the front of the arm so maybe Sorry, I'm being really quiet. Another big trick is breathe out when you paint tiny details. Um, <clears throat> 
Don't hold your breath. When you hold your breath, your body goes into stress. And that's not what you want. You want to take a deep breath, release the breath, and take the shot, basically. I feel like one needs to come down this side now. Uh, first time caught, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Now that I kind of got a rough, <clears throat> I can refine those, I can add highlights, I can do a uh, dark line to tie it back to the face. got a few more minutes so I'm going to go back to the black and like we talked I put that blue under there and then I washed it with a black wash I'm just going to take a little blue and add some little highlights especially on those knuckles you want the knuckles to look you know tense Tops of the fingers over here. Top edge of the belt. Just anywhere you want a little highlight. This just makes that blue and the black stand out and work really, really well together. If you want, you can put some texture on the belt. I like doing this. And like some little... Tiny lines on the belt. Just the bottom and top edge. It makes it look a little older and worn. Also creates more of that textural contrast. So if you have like... Some textury belt next to... But they're the same color as the pants, right? But because the belt is more textured than the pants, it makes the belt stand out. All right? Going back to same philosophy, contrast, contrast, contrast. Gooey Chew is holding his breath. That's amazing. Well, hopefully, this will inspire you to maybe do some.
free hand of your own on the next miniature you paint. I agree, Wampa. Uh, that's our goal. As we like making miniatures that are accessible, right? Um, there's nothing better than feeling like you can achieve. And you know, I like a I like a miniature that's easy to paint. That's I don't want to fight against the miniature. I want the miniature to just be like, paint me up. It's easy peasy. So. Trying to design for that is always something in the front of our minds. Um, you know, end user is our very first goal, and our very first thought. And just how is it going to paint? So I get overwhelmed personally by too many details, too much stuff to paint. It, uh, it, it's, it's, it's too much sometimes, right? It's like, well, it's just too much to paint. And it becomes not fun. The whole reason we're doing this is to have fun, right? Paint up some miniatures, play some games with our friends. It's supposed to be fun. So my my sin is about done. We're about finished. I'd be remiss. Uh, if I didn't mention that uh, the hashtag painting protocol. If you don't know what that is, it's our monthly Instagram challenge where we here at Atomic Mass Games, we challenge you. Uh, the community to paint something up really cool. Uh, the current challenge is the infinity challenge. So we want to see your infinity themed miniatures painted up. Uh, and you post it on Instagram with hashtag painting protocol. And then every month we pick some of our favorites and we showcase them. Uh, I saw that the last month's challenge went up. The, the selections went up uh, for royalty and there is a lot of really amazing paint jobs submitted for that so thank you for sharing those we love seeing the paint jobs come in from the community it's one of the highlights of my day for sure um, we just love seeing what everybody's painting and working on so even if you're not going to Submit to the painting protocol challenge. Like if you just got something really cool that you're really proud of, you should just go ahead and hit it up on the Instagram and you know, we will see it. We love seeing your work. We love seeing what you've been working on. If you, you know, that's it. VK next month. I already know what next month is. I got, I got picked out. I mean, I don't have final say in that, but I'm going to suggest it. Let's just say I think everybody said work on their tattoos. Ooh. I mean, this might not be. It might not be what we do. But that'd be a fun challenge. Put a little black wash on my gun. And then what I, I usually what I do, do a little black wash on a gun. Now I use a little green to highlight it to make it look more tactical. All right, my sin is almost done. I got a little more work to do. Um, like little details like her knives on her corset, things like that, some dark lining. Uh, the, the blaster pistol and the knife and highlight the red corset and stuff like that. But I'm pretty happy with the tattoos. I think this will make my sin stand out on the tabletop. Um, when, when I take her to play test um, and intimidate my opponents and make me win, and it's going to be great. So I'm going to switch it back over to the other camera. 
like that. Boop. So thanks for joining, and I hope that that was informative and uh, um, inspirational. Uh, remember to check out our streams every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, tomorrow will be Mr. John Schaefer painting up some cool stuff. You sh should definitely check that out. And then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you can check out Mr. Will Schick. Thursdays, you can join me for some more painting fun. Um, and remember, hashtag painting protocol. Post them up, infinity. And next week is going to be super awesome. I think it's just going to be nonstop. It's going to be amazing. Uh, remember, it's going to be the uh, mini extravaganza, the Atomic Mass Games mini extravaganza. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday just streams all day. You should see my schedule. It's ridiculous. And you should see this pile of miniatures I'm going to paint on stream. So it's going to be great. Um, I'm sure Schick and Schaefer also have a bunch of stuff. Remember, a bunch of development conversations. So if you're interested in that, you should check it out. The schedule will be going up real soon. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.